friends and welcome to the replay. While I am behind the scenes getting everything ready for your viewing pleasure of the project tonight, here are some things that you can do. Number one, as soon as you come in, please say hashtag live or hashtag replay, depending on what you are viewing. Next, I would love it if you would put a one down below if you are brand new to learning all about Chalk Couture, or you may have heard about Chalk Couture, but you're not currently working with the designer, because guess what? I want to be your designer. Next, if you are already an amazing chocolate designer, please pop a two down below and be sure to throw me some hearts. I would love it if you would go ahead and share this video if you are catching me on Facebook and you are not a chocolate designer. If you're on your mobile device, it's going to be the bottom left hand side of your video. If you're catching me on YouTube, right underneath the live video to the left of the live chat is going to be that share button. Once again, if you are not a chocolate designer, I would love it if you would share my video. Also, while while you guys are on my social medias, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you're on YouTube, which is right next to that share button. And I would also love it if you turn the bell on. When Facebook gets all wonky, I can always broadcast live from YouTube. But if you're on YouTube, I want you to follow me there as well. If you're on a laptop or a desktop, it's going to be right underneath the title of the video. Um, be sure to hit subscribe or follow and then go ahead and hit that bell to be notified whenever I go live. Next, I would love to talk to you all about Club Couture. If you're not aware of Club Couture, boy, are you in for a treat. It is the hottest club in town. Stick around to see the fun facts all about Club Couture. I can't forget the day we met. Next, if at any time you would love to hear all about the Chalk Tour opportunity, the opportunity to purchase a business in a box and to go ahead and launch your own empire, please comment join down below because I would love to uh, uh, invite you into our opportunity group where you can hear all about the designer opportunity and you will have all the information at your fingertips to go ahead and make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team because I really would love to have you. Hello, hello, you guys. Happy Wednesday. I want to do start us right off talking about Club Couture because you know what, guys? Today is or tomorrow is the last day that you can sign up for my Club Couture um, and be eligible to get this gorgeous vintage typewriter. Um, making sure that you heard some of the things that I said. Um, number one, you guys as Club Couture customers have access to private sales that are only from Chalk Couture, such as this one this month. It's called Banner Day. All four of these surfaces are on sale for 50% off for our Club Couture customers. It's such an amazing deal. Whoopsie, we already have a reminder going off. That didn't take long. Um, such an amazing deal. Um, you also, as a Club Couture customer, get flat rate shipping on all of your orders. So Club Couture customers are getting $4.95 in the U.S., $9.95 in Canada on your entire order. doesn't matter how many surfaces, transfers, or paste you have in there. That's what you're going to get. Now, if you're not a Club Couture customer, please know you do also get flat rate shipping of $6.95 in the U.S. and $13.95 in Canada. But you get a better shipping rate as a Club Couture customer. Now, another thing about Club Couture is that once you become a Club Couture member of mine, you'll go into my private private club couture group where I make three additional projects every single month without fail and I show you how I do the project step by step. That way you get the most bang for your buck. And finally, the last thing you even have the ability to do is add on what we call our Kickstarter kit. It is absolutely awesome and perfect for any of those Club Couture customers that want to have multiple surfaces and get some extra items so that way you're ready to rock and roll every month with your Club Couture transfer. 
You'll get a board and base, a 9x12 porcelain steel Ada Magnetic chalkboard, a two-pack of board erasers, a small squeegee, a three-ounce bright white chalk paste, and a multi-tool. So that is Club Couture in a nutshell. Definitely want you guys to be aware of it so that way you can take a look at it. Now, the next thing I want to talk to you about before we jump into our project is our new designer kit and the awesome specials that are happening in April, one of which is completely unheard of. We've never done it before, and you have until tomorrow night to make it happen if you want to do it. So this is our business in a box, aka new designer kit. It is absolutely awesome. It's $99 plus tax and shipping in the U.S., $129 plus tax and shipping in Canada. It's valued at over $250 in the U.S. and over $350 in Canada. It comes with five three-ounce chalk paste, a small squeegee, and an apron, a 12-pack of chalkable chips, a 12-pack of thank you cards, a board and base, a 9 by 12 porcelain steel Ada magnetic chalkboard, the gorgeous spring-summer catalog, the Read Me, seven silkscreen adhesive back reusable transfers, and the Club Couture transfer. As a bonus this month, this is the first special. You're going to get a bonus of $25 additional in product, it, which will include another Surface. It's our Tag Minis, which I used yesterday, and our Homespun Tag Size B transfer, which is super awesome. The next special that is happening with uh, our, our new recruits in April is you have the ability to earn your kit cost back. If you join in the month of April, you have through May to have the ability to earn your kit cost back. Now, there are some details that you need to know about that. And I've got those details for you. Now, what you want to do is you're going to want to comment join down below. Once you comment join down below, I will message you the link to my opportunity group. In my opportunity group, I did a video that goes over all of the details of not just the April specials, but all the details about joining Chalk Couture, joining my team, making sure it's a decision you're completely happy with. It gives you all of the information to make an educated decision. Also, Club Couture, if everything I went over was a little too much flying on at you, come in club down below and I'll make sure the details. And if at any time you want to go into my VIP group, comment me down below and I will make sure to message you those details. Now, let's jump on in to today's project, okay? Wow, hold on. We got to make that a little bit smaller. There it goes. Okay, so we are going to continue on with our part three of our tier tray. This is the final part that we have happening um, with our tier tray decor. Um, we're not going to plug this one in just yet. Um, I'm super excited because I cannot wait to decorate something. Um, I'm like super anxious. I took down my Easter decor um, and my spring decor. So I'm ready to rock and roll with new stuff. So at least one little area can get done in my house uh, once I get the B stuff done. Now let me show you. We'll do a quick recap of the things that we have made so far. Number one, we have our five by seven box frame with the sweet little honeybees um, and their little piles of honey laying on top of the frame with our little honey stick, um, our honey dipper. Super cute. I'm going to tell you, I like the effect of the gold honey more than I like the effect of the honey that I did yesterday. So let's show those two. Um, we used our house cutout. Uh oh, we're frozen here. There it goes. We used our house cutout and we did honeybee farms on this and we made some more honey. Now that yellow um, honey, I'm going to finish out today just because it's lodged in the glue gun. <laughs> I can't get it out, so we have to finish it off. But I think the gold glue looks so much more realistic for honey, okay? Um, and then we did our two sweet little tags that we can wrap around and put um, in uh, on some of the little pieces that I have that'll go on my tier tree decor. So now let's go ahead and let's finish it up. I've got two more little signs I want to make today. Um, one, we're going to reuse something that we did in our spring tier tray. Um, if you remember, I made these cute little, um, the, these cute little tobacco baskets I found and I had hot glued these little chocolate chips in. We're going to take off the hello spring and we're going to put the giant bee on here that came from the size D transfer. I believe it's called the beehive. Um, it's part of the bees knees collection. Hold on one second. I'll tell you exactly what it's called. Um, let's see, B. It is, it is called Just the Beehive, the Bee's Knees Collection Beehive. It's got this fun bee 
in it, in addition to the beehive. And it has the bee path paths, like where it looks like it's buzzing. So these three pieces are from there. I'm going to be using a mix of um, the um, Home is Where Your Honey Is, is going to be this. And then these two pieces are from the Sweeter Than Honey, which we're going to put on this other box. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do with it. We're not going to do this, honey. We're going to do something different. So let's go ahead and let's get started, huh? So first thing we want to do is we are going to take our fine mist sprayer. And we are going to spray the little area of the chalk paste, okay? Next thing I'm going to do is take my paste scraper. And I am going to scrape the paste off so we can go ahead and redesign with this. This paste scraper, look, it's like a, a breeze to get your paste off. Is this not insane? Look how easy it comes off. Okay, now hold on. I do need a paper towel. Whoops, and I've got three paper towels, three rolls coming at me. Huh. Now, some of the colors have a higher pigment than the rest, so you may need to use our board eraser to help get the rest of it off, um, which is what I will do with this one so I can get all of the uh, Hello Spring part off, because you can still see it like pretty lightly. But I'm going to go grab my board eraser real quick, and I'll show you guys how easy it is to take it off. Hold on. Totally forgot to bring it with me. Okay. Sorry. Had to grab it from my back room. Okay. So we're going to just come in with the board eraser, and look at that. It takes the ghosting right off. So now you can't even see the hello. So that's awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and let's do this, huh? Um, oops, let's try this real quick. There we go. Quick and easy. I love our paste scraper. They are awesome. Okay, so let's get our giant B on here. I'm thinking... I wanted to do some of the little loops maybe in the background, but maybe I could just do it down the side because I did already glue this in here. So I've already used these transfers and I keep forgetting to do this real quick while I dig out my buzzing towel. Here's some information about Chalk Couture for all of my new friends. Hi guys, as you're coming in. Hi Trish, hi Carol, hi Mary, hi Cheryl Shepard paint over with shimmer gold. That's a great idea, Carol. I think you were referring to the glue, right? Hi, Cal. Hi, Wes. If you're with mommy, I miss you. Okay. Hopefully that's been up long enough. Okay. So let's keep on going here. What did I do with the bee? Here he is. Here she is. It's a queen bee. It's a big one. Okay. So I am thinking that this is going to be probably done in black. I think I'm going to do black velvet. I'm going to see something here first. Yeah, that looks good. And then what I'll do is the little bee marks. Actually, no, we're going to use bumblebee. And I'll do the little bee marks and black velvet. Okay. Oh, that is a beautiful consistency. Love when my chalk paste is like this. Okay. Let's get a little mini squeegee. I had to take time yesterday to clean them all. That was fun. Little bit of chalk paste is going to go a very long way, you guys. Very long way. I'm going to pull from the center and lift it up. Oh, that looks so good. Guys, I cannot wait to go decorate. I might be coming back on later on because I don't think I'm going to be able to wait to decorate tomorrow. Plus, I've got my project for tomorrow. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be for my sister-in-law and my brother-in-law. 
I cannot wait to make it and give it to them. I just have to, I finally found my photo printer that I knew I had for forever, but couldn't find it until I cleaned this weekend. And I got, uh, they sent me the picture of my sweet niece. If you guys remember, I told you what I was going to do with it, and it is going to happen tomorrow. So just you wait. Okay. Let's get our bumblebee closed back up. Don't need it right now. Okay. Part of me really wants to add some honey to this, but I want to be able to reuse my little tobacco baskets because they go perfectly in tiered trays. So I don't think I'm going to do that on this one. Brianna, I got them from my second favorite store. Someone who is on here, if you could tell them. Not the one that has the section. The other one. If someone could fill Brianna in, I'd appreciate it. If not, Brianna, I'll message you after my live's over. Um, but I got them and I just love them. They're so perfect for my tear trays. Okay. So all I'm going to do is just do these little cute dots right off to the side. Actually, I'm going to move over a little bit more. Okay, let's get out our black velvet. Thank you, Dawn Marie. Thank you, Diana. You guys are the best. Debbie Birmingham, thank you. Yep, you guys are all correct. Okay. Oh, yeah, black velvet. You are nice and creamy. You're deceiving, though, because you don't look like you're going to be. Okay. Let's get our, once again, lid a little bit is all we need. I like that, how it looks like it's coming in from the side. So adorable. Okay, got that done. Now what we're going to do is a quick little itty bitty bow for this. Now remember I had all those little extra pieces yesterday? Like we're making like legit teeny tiny little little guy. What do I do with the rest of this string? Goodness. Did I put it back? What is happening with me, man? I'm actually like keeping up on organizing my stuff. It's crazy. Just crazy. Oh, I'm running out of room on my desk. This has been in my house for a while, so I'm not afraid to put that in my mouth. <laughs> I know that sounds terrible. And like I said, I have not been, I have not been doing any sorts of stuff in my mouth. <clears throat> it was not good though to do that part because that did not taste good at all. Now my nails are just getting in the way here. Little itty bitty bow. Doesn't have to be anything perfect. Just enough to give a little pop of color.
can you not twist black bow there it goes just a little something just like that is all I want to do you can even put it down here now nah, we'll put it on the top okay oh I have an idea what if I drip some wax onto the bow to make it look like it's honey will that look cool or does that just look like snot <laughs> it might just look not good I will tell you it's hotter than Hades that's for sure what if we just strip some on the bow to make it look like the little bee has been there can you guys even see it I know it's, I realize it might be a little hard to see it but it's on there well, we're going to see what it ends up looking like because it should harden up in just a few. All right, so we're just glue dot in the bow because, like I said, I don't want it to be on here permanently. Oh, thanks, Dawn Marie. Yeah, like it literally was right, in, right over my house, that video yesterday, right over my house. We were on our porch watching, and then we thought they weren't going to come. Yeah, that honey is looking like snot, so we might need to do something about that. And it is not drying. It is. Maybe it just needs a little bit longer. Oh, my gosh, stop. I'm not trying to put my finger in it because it's so hot. Okay, so maybe for future, like, see, this would have looked good. If this, how it came out onto the table, that may be. I wonder if it's because I put it directly onto the ribbon. Hopefully when it dries, it'll come out looking better. If not, don't do that. <laughs> I don't know that it looks good. Okay, let's move on to our next part. Okay. I don't know why we're freezing so much. Am I missing something that came through on my phone or something? What is happening? Something is happening. Hold on. It's showing it's live. Let me go out and go back in on my phone. Oh, there it goes. Now it's back. So sorry about that. Yeah, it's like Wi-Fi is crazy town right now for some reason. There it goes. Okay. All right. So we'll put this guy to the side. Now, and then let's make. This over here. <laughs> Thanks, Lisa. I'm a funny girl. What can I say? Oh, yes. And I still had the one more honey dipper left that I was thinking I was just going to put down here. I'm not gluing it in. I'm just going to set it so that way it stays in there. Because if you guys remember yesterday, I said, oh, I can't use another honey dipper because I had an idea for it. So that one we're going to put just like that. That glue is not drying at all. And it looks like... A sinus infection blowing up your nose. Is can put it. <laughs> That's so gross, but it's the truth. Okay, moving right along. Let's see. Okay, so I've had this little cute sign that I'm not going to hang up with it. I'm just going to have it stand up. It's like literally this chunk of wood. I thought it was super cute. Um... Debating on whether or not I wanted to paint it. That's the that's the issue that I had going. Was do I paint it? And I don't think I'm gonna. I, I was thinking to put, you know what? Actually, I am. I'm gonna paint it with some of the paint in the background, which I just gotta find it wherever I stuck it. Oh. Hold on. Oh. Where are you? Like how I did with the lemon. There you are. I think I'm going to just do a random splash of color. And then that way I can use some bright white. And we'll do the sweeter than honey maybe in the bumblebee color. I don't know. We'll see once we get the color on. 
If it doesn't look right, I do have another one. I just love this color. Okay, where is my little bristle brush? There we go. We're going to dry brush this. Oh, I already got some on there. Okay. Just to give it a little bit of texture. See how cute it looks? It looks like all distressed. See? Kind of all I wanted was just a little... Little, little sploosh of color, if you will. The sponge brush, this kind of brush does not give you the weathered look. You want a dry bristle brush. Don't put any water on it and just go back and forth. Like, I think that looks super cute. That was the look I was looking for. I just wanted a hint of some background distressing, but I didn't, do, didn't want to do it in white. Okay. That's a great idea, Jan. Right? Isn't it the perfect paint color for it? Now I got to make sure to like wash my brush like super fast. Um, okay. Now let's try this real quick. You guys, I got some new paint in this weekend from a company I've been wanting to try for like two years. And next week, we'll play with it. Um, I actually can't wait to try it out. Okay. Oh, I really like that. Look how cool that looks. Nice. Okay, so I want to do the honey dipper, not this one. I want to do the honey dipper with the honey pot on this one. Okay. Was that paste you scraped off? Mary, were you talking about on the white one? Or are you talking about right here? Um, this was painted with a flat brush. On the white chalkable chip, yes, it was paste that I scraped off. Yes, ma'am. All right, let's see how. I need to see how the little, if the honey dipper is going to fit on here. I want to leave the same. Hold on. I want to leave sort of the same amount. Yeah, I think that's about right. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay. So I'm going to actually do this in bright white. Or, um, yeah, I'm going to do it in bright white. Love that. <laughs> Nancy, you're so cute. Okay, let's get a squeegee. They're all behind my laptop here. Yes, my bright white is such a good consistency. I had to open it earlier today for something that I had to show. And oops, oh no. This transfer, it's not the transfer, it's the surface. What a bummer, it moved a little on me. Oh my gosh. 
Hold on. Yikes! That did not cur turn out good at all. And you know what? Do you guys remember the same thing happened on the this paint on that lemon project? The white did the same thing. I think it's the paint. So hold on. We're going to wash this really quickly. Hold on. I'm going to just go on my table. So bear with me one sec. Just so I don't have to go back to the back room and keep you guys waiting. Interesting. Very interesting. I wonder what is in the paint that makes the paste react with this. Super, super weird. I was going to say, I know. I, I know how to... <laughs> I know how to use my product. So it's super weird that that happened with that paint. Super, super weird. Okay, hold on. Put you right there. Paper towel. Turn the table back off. There we go. Super, super rando, right? And it could also be a mixture of the paint and the surface, right? Because the surface is super raw. It's like the super raw wood. It could totally be that. Totally, totally, totally could be that. Okay, let's get this down again. Well, let's try it first. So I don't get it all crazy like. It's definitely not my paste. It's definitely not the transfer. And I think it's, I really think it has something to do with the paint. I really, really do. Super interesting though, right? Let's try again. If I have to even pick it up and move it around in layers, I will. Okay, so the top part came out good. So weird, right? So, so weird. Whoa, uh -oh, probably not the smartest bulb in the box moment that I've had there. Forgot to hold it down on the other side. Super random. I, I don't get it. But thank goodness that worked. Thank goodness. All right, let's get this to the side. So I'm going to have to keep that in mind with that, with that. Oh, I forgot to wax. I wonder if that's what it was. How did I forget to wax? What a knucklehead. Thank you, Debbie Birmingham. I wasn't even, and thank you, Mary Beth. That's probably what it was. I totally forgot to wax. But I think I waxed with the lemon sign because it was painted and I was worried about the paint lifting. I totally forgot. What a goofball. Yeah, because you know what? I'll do Honey Bee Farms and Bumblebee, and we'll see if the same thing happens. Okay. A little bit. I will say when you dry this, this paint, it smells really good. <laughs> you guys know I'm all about the smells. All about them. All right, let's try and do this piece lightning quick and see if the same thing happens. Let's 
just right up there is the only place. Okay, so it definitely, it did the same thing. I, I, that's so weird. You guys, that is the weirdest thing ever. Don't get it. So, so odd. It's okay, we're going to quick clean it. I'll just correct that real fast. I might have to reconsider this paint. I also wonder if it's because it is a water-based paint. If it has something to do with that, maybe it's reactivating or something. I don't really know. I'm not very scientific. Just making a guess. Try it again real quick. So, so weird. So, so weird. Hi. Hi, Steph. Hi, Kim Adams. Okay, let's see again. Yeah, so weird. I don't get why that, that happens. I don't get it. But it's good now. So good now. Okay. Hi, Karen. Hi, Margaret. From Indiana. Hi, Nellie Steamy. How are you? Hey, Kim Jensen. Hey, Luann. I don't remember if I said hi to everybody today. Oh, boy. Like I said, the paint smells super good. All right, so we've got that down. Now, I, this surface is not big enough to fit the um this honey that I have right here okay not big enough so I'm going to use the honey from this part so I'm going to do sweeter then and then come over and grab honey so we're going to do that now thank you margaret thanks lynn hey ann this is your first time watching me, Margaret? Are you brand new to hearing about Chalk Couture or are you a designer already? Let me know because I'd love to invite you to my VIP group if you are not a designer or working with a designer. I don't want to step on toes. Okay, so we're going to pop this down real quick. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's get... I need to make sure that it is... Whoa, that needs to be moved over... Oh, that looks, that actually looks really good. All right, so let's get sweeter than. Hi, Jen. You're doing great here, Nellie. That is awesome. Jen, did you see I tagged you in the video? Um, in my opportunity group, girl? All right, so let's do sweeter than. Oh, wait, hold on. I wanted to see if it was level. Oh, yeah. Good job, Jess. That's a likely a first. All right. So let's see what happens with the bumblebee that was used on the paint area. wonder if it's going to do the same thing. So it did sort of react the same way. Interesting. But that's okay. We'll we'll fix that. I'm not worried about it. Very interesting how this is happening. It's the paint, I think. It's definitely not the transfers. You guys have seen me use these the last three days. You want my VIP, Jen? You got it.
Okay, let's do honey now and let's see where we stand. I mean, I do totally appreciate the fact that it is all distressed like. I'm going to see if that's centered. Should be right about there that should be centered wait hold on i keep forgetting to look to see if it's at least straight yeah it's straight super cute super super cute you guys but it did the same thing like I said, super interesting. Hey, Monique. All right. So what? once again, I don't mind doing this. I hope you guys don't mind seeing this. You're seeing how to fix it. So this would be for any surface. If maybe you let it wait a little too long for drying, like the paste drying in the transfer, this is sort of the same technique you would use, you know? Just usually, I, I really think it is, it's obviously nothing to do with the transfers or the paste. I think it's the paint because this is the exact same thing that happened when I used this paint last time. The exact same thing. Okay, let's do this again, and it should work just fine. We saw it work just fine with the white. It does look super rustic-y, though. I do love that, but I want it to be a little crisper. Do honey real fast. Perfect. Oh, beautiful. That is perfection. Perfection. Look at that. Okay, sweeter than honey. That is Honeybee Farms. That's what I need. Okay, now let's do sweeter than honey. And we'll get this put back down. Oh, hello, sticky transfer. Wow. Oh, let's dry it real quick so I don't have a boo boo. Gosh, it's so cute. I'm so good that this came into fruition. So, so glad. It's exactly how I wanted it to look. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to have to remember when using this paint, I will have to, when I use that milk paint again, I'm going to have to do two layers and wax, probably. Hey, Vicki Hunter. Okay, so that looks super cute. Super, super cute, you guys. Okay. Love it. I think all of my little pieces for my tear tray are done. 
Let's do a recap. I don't know if I want to put... I mean, I guess I could. I was thinking what would be fun is if I did some honey right here at the end of the honey dipper. Don't you think that would be cute? What do we think? Yay or nay? Before I go putting it down, because probably once I put it down, there's no turning back. <laughs> hey, Christy Orzy, how are you? Um, this is Bumblebee, Monique. Do you guys like it? What do we think about putting some of the faux honey down? Do we like that idea? Kristen says yes. Thank you, Mary. All right, I have one yes. What do we think, you guys? Should we put it on? Sprinkle with love. Thank you, Glinda. I totally could. Totally could, Debbie. I could go right across the top and down here. So we do like that. All right, let's do it. And should I do it like around like the top here? I'm trying to think. Yeah, maybe. Hold on, I have to push a little something into here to make it come out from the rest of this glue stick because I don't want to put another glue stick in because I don't know what color I'm going to use next. Of course you would be. That looks so cute. Am I all out? Oh, that won't go in anymore. Mm. Ugh, can't get it to go down any further. Okay, well, I guess we're done with that. But I think that actually looks super adorable. To make it look like the little honey dripping off. Oh, so cute. You guys love it. And what we could do is if we want to incorporate another one of our little bees, we could put one of our little bees down at the bottom. But this kind of looks super rustic. This looks kind of child-esque, if you will. So I don't think I'm going to put that bee. I don't think that we'll do that. But, you know, if you had another, there's other little wood bees. And I'm, I actually did get some that I'm waiting to come back in. Or to come to me. Oh, why did I do that? I was going to try and see if I could push it a little. Bad idea. Bad call. Okay. So that is that, you guys. I think we're done with the tier tray decor stuff. So let's show what we made this week. So we've got this little guy that we did today along with this guy. And then we've got... Oh, i got to make sure I don't put anything on top of that. We did our sweet little house cut out. We did our fun little tags. And we did our bigger sign that says honey with our little bees. So there we go. Aren't they so cute? Oh my gosh, I love it. I can't wait to go decorate with it. Love, love, love. It's going to go perfect with all my bee theme stuff. Yes, 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 yes. I hope you guys love it. It is a colored glue stick, Karen Lee Johnson. Yep. Thank you, Leanne. I'm so glad. Yes, yeah, stripping down. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. I hope you guys love it. Oh. 
Awesome. Awesome. What if you put a bee and swirl under the sweeter than honey like the bee is flying by? Totally could do it. Like you're talking about with, where are they? Like with this little swirl. I certainly could have. Yep, definitely. You could put it right like down here. That would be super cute for sure. Even across it. Yep, you totally could. There you go. Well, I hope you guys loved my little bee tier tray decor series. I really love it. I am super excited to go decorate with it. I will probably get what I need to get done. Um, and after dinner, maybe I will jump back on live really quickly to show you guys how I decorate it, or I'll just post pictures. It's going to depend on how my afternoon goes, to be completely honest. But, um, I hope, uh, I hope it brought some of you joy. So, okay, we are going to, if you'd like to go into my VIP group at any time, as long as you're not a Chalk Couture designer, comment me down below. Um, if you are looking to get the information about our awesome new designer kit with the two amazing specials in April and you want to hear those details, remember we've got till tomorrow night at 11.59 p.m. Mountain Standard Time to join. Comment join down below. And for the details on becoming a Club Couture member of mine and getting your hands on that vintage typewriter once again by 11.59 p.m. tomorrow night, comment club down below. So I hope you guys have an awesome day. Um, and I'll be back tomorrow with another super fun project. Bye, you guys.